how do microwave ovens work? So we know that microwaves are a type of energy in the electromagnetic spectrum, lower energy than UV, visible light, and infrared. It's not heat energy. It's not light energy. Um, it's not enough energy to break bonds in molecules. Okay. What microwave energy does do is it causes certain molecules to rotate. So these are water molecules are an example of a polar molecule. And in general, any polar molecule will respond to microwaves. So the water molecule has a negative end and a positive end. And that's because of an uneven distribution of electrons. So any polar molecule has an uneven distribution of electrons, whether water molecule or, say, ammonia, that's also a polar molecule. So you need to start with polar molecules inside of the microwave. Then the microwave energy causes polar molecules to rotate by changing the electric field inside of the microwave. So these water molecules will rotate. And with rotation of water molecules inside of the food, as these water molecules rotate, they lead to frictional forces on other molecules in the food. Now, frictional, uh, frictional force of water on another molecule can lead to heating. And this you can experience yourself by rubbing your hands together, rotating your hands against each other. That frictional force leads to heating. Okay, and so this is a, an indirect heating of the food. When the water molecules rotate, they rub against the food and cause the, the friction causes them, causes the food to heat up. So the friction generates heat and the heat is transferred from the water molecules to the food. So it's an indirect heating. And that's why microwaves don't brown food. And if you have any food that doesn't have any water in it, like bread or a piece of plastic, that does not heat up unless there's some water molecules in it. So in a microwave, no bonds are broken. There's no chemical reaction. It is simply an indirect process generating heat by the rotation of water molecules. So you might ask, well, if there's no chemical reaction, then why does metal spark when you have it in the microwave? So here's a piece of aluminum foil and it does spark. So microwaves only affect polar molecules. They don't affect the rest of food, which is usually nonpolar organic molecules. There are some ions. Um, microwaves don't affect paper or plastic, which are also nonpolar molecules. But metals will spark. And the metals have electrons, lots of electrons. And electrons, when exposed to microwave energy, these electrons get sloshed around, which is fine if you have a smooth piece of metal. But if there's an edge on the metal, or a crumpled up piece of metal like shown here, um, the electrons will pile up on the edge. And that high concentration of electrons at one point will rip an electron off and into the air. And into the air of, that of the microwave, and then what you see is a spark, which is an electron ripped off, kind of like lightning, which is a stream of electrons.